Hey, what's up guys? We are in Glasgow. What are we doing down here, Tom? We are here for the reopening of the Hydro after two years for the Glasgow Giants Live World Tour Finals. All kicks off tomorrow, 5 p.m. We're just gonna go in and do an athlete meeting and then eat some food. So stay tuned for the excitement. Oh my God, there's an albatross over there. <laughs> the first ever Giants Live in Glasgow. It's a long time coming. I think it deserves to be in Scotland. <laughs> You've got the world's strongest man and Europe's strongest man. Same country, same place, uh, same household. So it's uh, a great feeling. I feel pumped up and ready to get things going. I'm going to kill every single other athlete and literally rip everyone's head off. Yeah, so obviously I'm wanting to win this show. Really good events for me, but the one thing I want to do is smash my art the stone world record. Um, I've actually been training stones. I don't think anybody in the world can touch me on stones. I'm going to prove that like, I am the best in the world at stones again and get a new world record. It's weird saying COVID was a blessing, but <laughs> it was because it kind of put me back on my feet and really got me into that mindset of, uh, you know, I am the best in the world. I'm a pro straw man. Watching Luke win that title, the way he was at Europe was like he was at uh, Worlds and I seen that firsthand. So, you know, Luke won Europe's strongest man. It's good, but then I need to focus on myself and get myself back to being the athlete I know I am because nobody can touch me when I'm 100%. So, you know, I couldn't get out of the house, so I recovered hard, slept good, I ate good. I got a big, massive bonfire in my body. You know, you could put me, I'm the new Guy Fox. I'm at the top of that fire. I'm ready. I'm ready to rip the roof off the hydro and uh, literally put on the biggest show of my life. Absolutely buzzing that uh, straw man has come home to Glasgow. Giants lives, the Saturday the 18th. The best guys in straw man here in Glasgow at the hydro. Two years after it's been shut down, it is back with a bang. World Tour Finals Glasgow. Come see your winner. Finally Giants Live has decided to come to Glasgow, Scotland. Yeah, it feels amazing. The support that Scottish people have shown us has been incredible. And we've been trying for years to get it to Scotland, you know, for a Giant Tribe to come to Scotland. We've been saying to Colin and Darren that the, you know, it would be a massive show. And I hope tomorrow that we can prove that it's going to be, I think, one of the best shows um, that Giant Tribe have done. Such a special place to be, so I'm really excited, really proud to be here. Um, big thank you to Giant Tribe for making it happen, um, for coming to Glasgow finally, and, and yeah, giving the Scottish people what we want. Um, Giants live in Scotland, that's all the Scottish people want. Simple, let's get it done. Any records, I, I don't really care, I just want to win. That's for me now. I think if you're setting yourself to come in and beat a record, then your mindset's not really fully on the show. So for me, it's just concentrate, smash every event as best I can. And you know, my aim is to win the show just like every other athlete here. So that's all I'm going to do tomorrow. You said you were going to beat the boys in the previous video. I did. I'd love it. I'd love to come to their hometown and just uh, just take them out. You know, they got some they got some accolades now. These boys. We got a world's strongest man. We got Europe's strongest man. They got to realise they're on the top of the top of the tree now. We got to throw rocks at them. We got to throw rocks at them. But all I'm saying is, I'm happy it's an indoor show because uh, the Scottish weather has lived up to the hype and it's uh, pretty grim outside. But. Anyway, it should be, should be a good show, obviously like the first one in Glasgow. Uh, be exciting, like, I know obviously there's been a big build up and it's fantastic for these boys to have a, a show like in their own country. It's, it's a longer commute for them to get to this show than it was for me with my flight, but still it's like still a home a home uh, hometown crowd for them. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Three out of five. So then it's Eve Arson and Bobby. Yeah. So we just watched um, World's Ultimate Strongman out in Dubai. Uh, Alexi, my boy, uh, just got first place. Mateus was winning going into the stones by a point. Alexi smashed the stones, won the stones, or finished above um, Mateus and, and uh, won the event a point in front. So I'm so happy for Alexi, it's class. Great to see. Uh, Mateus Park as well coming second place. Uh, Avars uh, coming third, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, so pumped for him. I think he came third in Bahrain as well. So, yeah, great results for the guys. Alexi, if you're watching this, congratulations, mate. Um, really, yeah, really happy for you. Just a dominance this year. Um, 
of strongman performances. It's incredible. So I'll be using that as inspiration tomorrow when I take the title. Sorry, I was just zoned out. Right, Simon, I'm just going to do a little speech. I think I should uh, leave the athlete meeting tonight because I'm Scottish. So, by the power invested in me from by the European Commission. Ah, <clears throat> oh, prank! Oh, I'm not going to do it, you idiot. I can't believe you thought I was going to. I'm not going to speak. I hate speaking. Get nervous and scared. We're just going to do a very quick athletes meeting. Hopefully, everyone can see me. In which we'll go over quickly the events. Daz will go over the events. Uh, Magnus is not here yet. He's still flying in from Iceland. Hopefully, touch wood. Uh, our head ref. The World Tour Finals. First time we've ever been in Glasgow. This is Britain's second biggest indoor arena. It's a hell of an arena. It's a big deal. It's a big deal for us. It's a big deal for the sport. And we don't want to get blasé. We've done a lot of big arenas now, but this actually, this, this is a whole country in one hit. And this is the biggest arena. And Scotland, for me anyway, being Scottish, the Stolman boys being Scottish, this is in many ways the home of strength athletics right here. The Highland Games, all of that. And I think you're going to have a pretty serious crowd there. A lot of guys will be pretty knowledgeable. They've watched it for 45 years. There's, there's been a drought for 45 years in Scotland until Big, <coughs> Big Tam came along and won it. Um, and it's going to mean a lot to them. And I think you're going to get, everyone's going to get supported. But you know, there's nothing wrong with the English playing up to the English bit, you know, that do your bit, bitch, you know. They throw stuff here, mate. You know. <laughs> <laughs> We've come up here to win your titles. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with playing the stereotypes, you know, we're, we're here to entertain after all. Max Long is going to happen again, because of course, our star over there, Mr. Iron Bibby, uh, did not make it to Leeds and Luke being the good egg that he is demanded along with Hixie that he gets a shot to retain his title as the world longlifting champion and I think it's a magnificent uh, gesture from Luke and from, from Hixie I think it's a, it's a hell of a thing off actually so they didn't take their trophy last time and he, he's now in, in competition rules going to come out and give that a crack try and win the title see if he can't break a world record as well which I think we all want to see so to, to Iron Bibby, good luck my friend, let's give him a little round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's an Iron Bibby fan, really, yeah. massive fan, we're just so pleased you're here Bibby. And so good luck with that, we, we, everyone's behind you, massive. I think also we have to do just a, a very quick round of applause for two guys who, who have, have set out to, to be good strong men. You know, they didn't even win the Britain's Strongest Man, but somehow they've gone and become the two biggest titles in the world, and they're brothers. It's the most extraordinary feat, and, and it'll be one that'll be talked about for generations to come. It's uh, Luke and Tom Stolman, Europe's Strongest Man and World's Strongest Man. Obviously, this is doing his Englishman's clap. They still haven't won Britain's. <laughs> <laughs> I shall be defending that next month. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, guys, you, you, you'll just rock the crowd by turning up. It's going to be immense. I, I'm super excited. I think we're all excited. Andy Black. Andy Black is is is. is he's like a, a mythical figure, Andy Black. You know, he's almost it's, it's hard to believe hard to believe what he has achieved in such a short time. He's now the face of Iron Brew which is any young Scotsman's dream, you know what I mean? <laughs> Forget Health and Fitness magazine, Iron Brew is where it's at. Anyway, guys, you know, there's so many rock stars here. I mean, Maxime Boudreau, third at World's Strongest Man this year. An extraordinary feat. Showed what an incredible athlete he is, you know what I mean? Evan Singleton, the man who came and won Manchester, you know, look at him, all henched up there, look at him, looking massive. Extraordinary. You know? yeah. Gabriel Pena, the man who's going to make me lose my job in commentary, the voice, Mr. Pena, yeah. the legend. You know, I, 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 there's too many. And of course, the king returns. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Felix is here. Yeah. Hey. 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 The Wales' strongest man, following in the footsteps of Gary Taylor. Hey, Mr. Hey. Bill. Um, like, like Tom Jones, he has a few fainting bits in his act and then gets up and everyone cheers, you know. <laughs> so, all part of the deal, you know. Yes. 
Have I missed anyone else? Yeah. Oh, but well, he's, he's, he's not. He's <laughs> pound for pound, the strongest man in the world. Two World Strongest Man finals. One World Strongest Man final. One you should have made. Yeah. Oh, thanks to the people. Anyway, yes. Kevin Ferris has joined us. The man, the myth. There we are. Good. Yeah. The only guy, world's strongest man, who pretends he's heavier than he is. <laughs> You're not allowed to weigh me, I'm 300 pounds. <laughs> but actually, the most extraordinary athlete ever. <laughs> really tremendous. Good to have you here, Kevin. Thank you very much. All right, here he is, Lord Bishop's <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> cannot be completed by the King of Kings, of course, three times world's strongest man, the living legend himself. He's still here, still rocking. Yeah. Please give it your all out. Let me hand you the Daz who's got the real stuff to say. <laughs> Daz? Yeah, cool. The five events machine. <coughs> yeah, I'll go through the events for you then, guys. So, first of all, as Colin said, we've got Bibby going for the, you know, log championships. Just, so, just to make it clear, we've done it the same rules, same weight jumps, everything like that as the show, just to make it fair. Same log. As you guys come out and do your flag waving, he's going to come out first and go straight round the back to start warming up. So it'll be the very first thing. So you'll have a little bit more warm-up time for the first event. So first event, Nickel Stones. It belonged to Brett Nickel and the rules are made up by him and it's going to be the same as it, as it is. But now we've got your indoor and outdoor champion, aren't you? So, so what we decided to do is, because obviously we bring it indoors now, for Scotland's Strongest Man and, and our shows, there's an indoor and outdoor record now. Because obviously it's a lot harder, so, but he's got them both anyway, so, you know, he's a man to be. So what, what we're going to do is there's a, um, an eight foot rubber, co rubber matted course, 20 metres, and it's the same rules as before. If you drop it, you've got 10 seconds. If you, so if you, if you get to the line, you haven't dropped it, you can drop it on the line and turn. But if you have already dropped it, you've got to turn with it in your hands. Do you have to turn if you walk backwards? Oh. Say that again, sorry? Do you have to turn or if you walk backwards? That's a good point, yeah. Well, yeah, of course you can, yeah. As long as you break the line and keep them in your hands, you walk backwards and lift it. Not that I probably do. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing this. <laughs> what are we going to do that? The moonwalk. Do some moonwalking. Yeah, so if you want to walk backwards, then you can. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> So you've got one drop, if you're good enough at it, it wants to be on the line really. And we're going to say break the line with both subs. Okay, as long as it's broken. Um, and there's going to be someone on that line. But, so it's just one drop and you get 10 seconds to pick it back up. Okay? It does, if you get to the line, can you swap hands? Yeah, so, if, so if, you, if you get to the line and you drop it on the line, you can turn around. You'll have bear in mind the different ways, so you can turn around. But you can, you can, that's the only time you can turn around if you like. So that's that. Any, any questions on that? Fairly... Oh, you're, you're going to come up and count the time yeah. you are saying when we drop it. I'll just, I'm just going to physically count it. Yeah. So it'd be, a, it'd be a long 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're 10, I'm going, 9, pick it up, please. <laughs> Get in your corner. Get in your corner. <laughs> yeah. One. <laughs> <laughs> Next event after that is the log. Uh, Slater logs, 150 for reps, touching the pad with both sides of it, and then locked out above your head. 60 seconds, yeah. Or do you want to do 75 on that? Because these guys are getting quite a bit, aren't they? Do you think so? I think we might do 75 yeah. on it. Head to head, yeah. yeah. Next event will be deadlift, which is a big act. Um, 60 seconds, uh, again. Most people have done those axles before. Which one's the only way? The, it's the wheeled ones. The wheeled ones, ones. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got car walk, which most of you have done. Roy's got a book with all your numbers in. If you haven't done it, if you, sit, if you find Roy in the morning, and he'll do your height for you. When you get there, find him, and he'll do your height for you. Get a low pickup, didn't it? You know, get a low pickup because it'll drag off your back. You as well as having a bit, a bit lower pickup. Um, and then we're finishing with Atlas Stones, just a standard Giants Life Stones. And that's it. And physio-wise, uh, I don't know I don't, uh, if you want to say something to these guys you come to. Um, Hi guys, good luck tomorrow. <coughs> if you need anything pre or post, 
um, the competition, like treatments, or when I feel a bit looser and a bit more structural, correct? Just give me a buzz and I'll be happy to help me and Laura here so make it perform a bit better. Dr. Rocco, Dr. Laura, chiropractic, I used it a lot way back in the day. I'm sure you guys all use it, but pre, post, whenever, they can watch you walk away from an event and realize he just hurt his hip and we need to put it back into place. Uh, so adding to the professionalism of Giant Slide and offering the best services to you athletes, they're joining the dream team. Thank right. you, Colin. Cheers, Rocco. Cheers, Rocco. <laughs>
care about holidays, I don't care about family events, I don't care about, I honestly don't care about anything now. For me to say I'm world's strongest man, it's just, like, one of the, the most amazing things I could ever say in my life. Who I stumbled into strong man by accident and then it's just snowballed. You know, mum was there, mum was her greatest fan. She made these t-shirts so it's only fitting now we're doing merchandise because mum used to do the t-shirts for us and she used to scream from the sidelines. Now I've got Cushy screaming from the sidelines for me. So all of these things, it's just like, so just, it's like, it's so weird. It's like someone's made this mad story She's passed away and then Cushy stepped up and she does all this amazing stuff for me. She screams, she cries when I do well. She's like, and that was what mum was, that was what mum did for me. And for me to be that person that wins World's Strongest Man, it's it's not just me that does it, it's it's Tom, it's Cushy, it's my mum, it's my dad, it's Harry. It's just that. <sighs> <laughs> I'd do anything to one world's strongest man. Yeah. yeah, we're just having a conversation with Luke then. We are going into the comp tomorrow. And I think throughout the whole documentary that we've been shooting, the way Luke talks pre-competition has changed towards the end of the documentary. I know you guys have seen his mentality change. And in the film, that's a huge part of it. So, as always, Luke's given some amazing words and his thoughts and the way his mind's working now is completely different. Um, and just on the documentary, whilst you're all here, um, the, doc the edit of the documentary started and I genuinely believe we've got an absolutely beautiful film. Not just entertaining, like it's, I think it's going to be a piece of art, like it's going to be so beautiful to watch. Um, and everybody, the hundreds of thousands of people that have watched these videos and Luke and Tom's videos for, for the last few years, I feel like this is going to be something that you're really going to enjoy and it's going to inspire and motivate you. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait for it to come out. But we've got a while, but yeah, um, the story's still unfolding. So yeah, you've got to give us a bit of time with it. Uh, when do you expect it to be finished? Um, I'm saying the first half of next year, but that's very loose at the moment, yeah. Interviews and stuff done. So as you saw, Jordan and uh, Neve Mulligan were just up for um, some interviews about or for the documentary, which, excuse me, is going to be amazing by the way. I, I honestly, I'm so excited because I'm so vain because I love watching myself, but hey ho. But no, in, in a serious note, I think it's going to be amazing. Jordan, incredible guy, incredible guy. And William and the rest of the family, Neve and everyone else, very I've much appreciated. They're one of the reasons why, you know, we get to do what we do, so. Big, out, big shout out to them. So yeah, all interviews done. It's now coming on for 8pm. So yeah, I take my my own master legs loose off me. It's like it was a four and a half hour drive down to Glasgow. So um, I just do half an hour of these just before bed just to get the legs, get a bit more refreshed and recharged for tomorrow. Um, we're going to be using our legs a little bit tomorrow. It's going to be a bit, yeah, it's going to be a heavy comp. So excited for it. Oh baby, I like it raw. Oh, oh, daddy. <laughs> right, guys, so that's the travel down here. Thankfully, we've made it. It was a bit of a long, long drive. Tom, your drive was a bit longer yesterday as well, wasn't Six it? Six hours, bro. So. Oof, six hours. We made it. So we've done all the bits and pieces we've done. We've checked in. We've got our rooms. We've done a bit of recovery. Um, we've got our food. We're fed. What else? I know, all to do is rest, have nice dreams, and wake up tomorrow. And a big shout out to Colin and Darren again. You know, they are just so happy to have it in Scotland. It's amazing. Strong man's coming home. Brilliant. It's coming. So, thanks for watching. This is the first part of Giants Live Glasgow World Tour Finals. Tomorrow we do battle with the beasts from all around the world. Stay tuned. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah.